So I've stepped outside on this rainy day because I want to talk to you guys about something and the family's being kind of loud inside the house. I just kind of woke up. Just kind of woke up. I did just wake up. That's why I probably look a little tired. But I want to get this video out because I want to talk about something. Um, I love open source projects and I try to support them. You know, I try to put a little bit towards small projects here and there. Uh, so when it comes to supporting open source projects, there's different ways you can do it. I'm talking financially right now. I don't normally support larger open source projects. Like for example, I love LibreOffice. I think it's a great project or like the Blender uh, uh, Foundation. I think they're great. Normally I don't support those because I try to find those little projects that I use all the time that seem to me to get overlooked. Like for example, um, uh, Termux or FCF, you know, those are like little projects that I use all the time, but they don't have that backing, which of course it's important for those big projects, but they already tend to get a lot of support. Today I'm going to talk about one that's kind of in the middle. Uh, it's, it's not a huge project, but it's kind of supporting a larger project. There is a YouTube channel that I've been following for a couple of months because I've been doing a lot of stuff in Godot, the game engine, and the channel is called uh, GD Quest, and they do great, great tutorials, and they've done a couple of Kickstarters in the past where they've uh, done tutorials, and they have a Kickstarter going on right now, and last week I decided to support it. Lots of times I, I with certain projects, it's like, uh, am I going to support this project because they're doing a good job making videos, but I'm really wanting to support open source, but they're, they're doing tutorials on open source, and what they're doing is going to be mostly, some of it's behind a paywall and some of it's, um, you know, open to everybody, but what they're doing is benefiting everybody and does help their channel, but they just sent out an update on their Kickstarter, which has about 39 hours from the time of recording this till it ends, and they have a stretch goal. They, they already reached their original goal, and I just checked, they already reached their stretch goal, but I'm still going to bring it up because I think it's worth talking about. So they're doing a video series on creating video games using Godot, the open source game engine, uh, for early, early beginners. They are showing how to do the very basics, but to create an entire game, uh, which is great. They're also working on writing a program so that you learn, it teaches you how to program. So you follow along, I guess, and you go, you, instead of just reading and then doing it, you type in the code and it tells you, they have videos. I'll link to everything in the description of this video. But their stretch goal it's starting to rain a lot now. Their stretch goal, uh, which I said they already uh, reached, um, is they're going to take some of that money that they get and hire a developer to work on certain things for the Godot game engine. Instead of giving the money to Godot, which already has a lot of developers and a lot of stuff going on, they have specific things that they want to work on. They list it out on their Kickstarter page, and they're going to hire their own developer to work on certain things, and mainly it looks like they really want to work on the animation player in Godot. So I just wanted to bring this up because there's less than 48 hours. There's like 38, 39 hours left. It's really starting to rain right now. I'll link to it in the description. I really think it's worth uh, donating to. And if not, uh, something I've thought about doing in the past, like I said, I try to put aside anywhere from 5 to $20 a month, and I usually pick a small open source project, and I support them. I give them that money. And I've thought maybe I should announce on my YouTube channel what little projects I'm supporting and maybe that would encourage you guys to do so that if we all give five dollars to this small project all at once um, it'd be real encouraging to them and help them out uh, so let me know what you think about that let me know in the comments below be sure to check out the links in the description to the Kickstarter page I really think it's worth I'm not associated with uh, GD quest at all so <clears throat> I just think they do great videos and they've given a lot to the project and to the community, and I think they're worth supporting. That being said, I do have some Godot tutorials coming up. I have some example projects I've been working on in, uh, in the next month or so. And then after that, I've actually been working on my own little minimal uh, Godot tutorials where I have videos that are one to two minutes long just showing this is how you do one simple thing in Godot. This is how you do one thing. And I have like two weeks worth of videos, like 14 so or videos of that. So look forward to that coming out. Uh, but their videos are going to be definitely a lot higher quality than mine and go into a lot more detail than the ones I'm working on. So check them out. Links in the description. Filmswithchris.com is my website. And I hope that you have a great day.